Welcome back, everyone, to the 0K June 2018 Women's Women Tournament. We are into the Swiss tiebreaker. As you can notice from the standings, Unlucky and Orphelius have the exact same score. So in order to determine the top four, we need to have them play a tiebreaker round. It will be played on Sever, a map which we really haven't seen much before. It's it's an interesting map. I mean, the thing about this map is that, as you can kind of tell from the way it's built, it kind of suggests this is not vehicle passable. So for vehicles... It's basically this one giant rush distance. Like, it's one giant long corridor. For non-vehicles, there's a lot of room. It's a big square, and there's you know, room bots can get around, and it's pretty neat that way. But yeah, for vehicles, it's very basic. So I hope neither player goes for vehicles. We would be here all day if they do. If not, it'll probably take 5-10 minutes. This is a tiny map if you're not playing vehicles, and a long slogs map if you are. It's also very lucrative. Not a lot of reclaim. There's another map like it called Zed, which I believe has more reclaim on it, but not this one. Oh, starting on interesting corners. Not going for what I expected. We'd be up here and down here. I think this actually might be the start boxes, because I'm pretty sure the start boxes on some versions are just top right and bottom left. But not here. No, both players starting kind of central, which I appreciate, because it means that neither player is going to be that stuck as far as rush distance goes. Orphelia is going for the Hovercraft Factory as well, which is interesting. Cloaky Bot makes a lot of sense. Unlucky going for fairly standard, fairly basic factory. Orphelia is going for Mace Rush. There was a slight complaint earlier. We watched actually the map that Major Obvious was playing. They got hit by a Mace Rush. And everyone's. And they were complaining about it. I don't know if that's actually going to work. I mean, Unlucky, like I said before, is really good with their unit counters. This could be a problem, but I don't know. I mean, maybe. I think they're going to be going over. I think Orphelia is going to go over to the northeast. And if they do that. Unlucky's got this, because Unlucky should be able to find the mace first, and then from finding the mace, they should be able to find, well, build score, build ro build rogues, or rockos, rather. Build rockos, it's fine. Although at this point, given that the glaive's coming from the south, I don't... No, I think Orphelius knows. Orphelius is going to figure it out. Or... No, they're not! Orphelius is going over to the north! They're actually going to be going over to the wrong direction, that's buying Unlucky so much time! If Unlucky does figure this out, that there is a mace rush, and I think they did see the mace. I'm almost certain they saw the mace, actually. Yeah, they should. if they go for Rocco's, they've got this. They've got the game in the bag if they go for Rocco's. And like I said, they're a player that's generally been pretty good about army composition. They've generally been really good about making sure they don't do anything that's, like, unsafe army composition-wise. I just don't... I don't see the Rocco's. There are Reavers. Not a... Bad choice. Ah, there's the Rockos. Or Ronin. Ronin, rather. I keep going Rockos. There are the Ronin. Coming in there. This this is it. Like, Unlucky's got this. Orphelia's going for the Mace Rush. Basically being stuffed by not going for the right position. Unlucky doing a great job starting in an unconventional position. They would have been hit by the Mace Rush first. If they would have not been able to build up those Rockos, sorry, Ronin, in time. Had they gone in the normal position, which Orphelius was counting on. But now, because Orphelius went over to that position and did not spot them properly, and even if they had, might have had some time. But definitely, since they haven't, Unlucky is able to just wreak havoc. Like, these daggers aren't going to be able to stop the Glaives from killing the factory. At all. I mean, they might pressure them out of it, but no, that factory's down. That factory's done. The daggers can't stop it. The, I mean, they're going to try, but they're going to die in the process. The quill is going to try to repair it as best as it can, but the Glaive's dealing way too much damage. The mace not even able to get in position in time. That's a factory down. Orphelius with nothing to build up. Orphelius throwing in the towel. Three minutes in. I mean, makes sense. They went for the mace rush. It didn't work. I mean, really smart play from Unlucky to put themselves to set up their star position such that they were not going to be in an obvious spot. Because Orphelius, see, what I, what's clearly what happened is that Orphelius kind of expected that Unlucky would go for the obvious position. Because I think some versions of this map, like I said, I'm pretty sure Zed and possibly other versions of Zever, the start boxes are exclusively northeast and southwest. So uh, Orphelius clearly went to the northwest, thinking, well, I'll set up a factory there and quickly rush the northeast, where Unlucky is likely to set up. But Unlucky, I think they must have thought, well, I should go for a central position so it's easier for me to expand and build up and I'm not trapped by the rush distance on the map. And also, I'm kind of close to my opponent, where they might be. And it worked out really well for Unlucky, because they were just going for a standard game that happened to start in a more central location, while Orphelius was going for a maze rush that depended on their opponent being in the northeast. So Unlucky moves on to the bracket stages, and we're going to be starting that in just a few minutes. I realize this is a very short video, and people on YouTube are going to be going, Well, what is this? Five minutes? What? It's like, yeah, it's five minutes. It's a good five minutes, though. It's an informative five minutes on how it's important to have an idea of where your opponent might be, and understanding... 
where start positions are when you're going for rushes is actually a really key element of rushes. It's also why a lot of maps don't have start boxes that are just vertical bars, but that is engine default stuff, so it happens. Anyway, that is going to be that. So again, bracket stages in a couple seconds. Stay tuned for that. Or minutes. Whatever. Some unit of time. Seconds, minutes, weeks. I don't know. That's something. So yeah, stay tuned for that.